Alright, so we're going to attempt to make a shape that is filled in in Inkscape using Gco Tools, the extension plugin. The first thing we need to do is go to our document properties and establish millimeters. Then, what I want to do is draw out a shape. A star is a really good challenge, trust me. So we're going to try the star first. Okay, next, um, let's go and establish our orientation paths. I'm going to use a Sharpie marker, so 0 0.03 works really good. Negative 0 0.03. That's how hard it's going to push into the material. Okay, our star, let's go to G-Code Tools and go to Tool Library. I'm going to establish this to be a cylinder uh, because we're not cutting into the object. Any pens, pencils, anything like that, anytime that you're just cutting into an object, cylinder works. Anytime that you're using a cone-shaped um, cut, a cone works. So do the, do the math there. Cylinder is good. Very universal. Okay, so the diameter of a Sharpie marker is 1. And then its feed is going to be 250. You can go much higher, but for right now, that's a good starting point if you're just making this. Let's go to G Code Tools and go to Area. This is the tricky part because G Code Tools wants to freak out at this point. So when you click Area, you'll see that it establishes a new offset star. Okay, so let's lower that down to width of 1. Uh, the 80 is how, what's the width of here to here? Okay, so if you look, this star is clearly like almost 150. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to hit apply <laughs> and close it out. This new star, we're going to copy this and we're going to take this and paste it in here under the other star. This will move it into position. Take this one, copy it, and move it to position. So we're moving the yellow star to meet the area. It's also going to be offset just a skosh. Oh, I hate when I do that. Don't use Alt and click, by the way. So these are stamps. And there's going to be a million of them. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is take this one and use the arrow tools to move it into position just like that. Any additional stampage that might have occurred during the time of stampage, I'll delete those. Okay. So I'm used to using a 3D application, that's why I'm using a halt and that's why stamps occurred. So you can see that offset is pretty even going all the way around. This is good. Okay, we can delete the small one. And now the next time we go into extensions G Code Tools area, it should have a very nice offset. Okay, close that out. Let's zoom out so we can see the entire star. All right, now 150, what I want to do is add to this one until it reaches the center of the star. No more, no less. Now you could be impatient and type in a number, but trust me, you do not want to do that. What it will do is it will add to the outer edge and add more shapes to it than what's needed. Okay. 
Once you see a dot in the center, you have enough. Now certainly you can plug in some values until you get no dot. I mean, that, that could be a way to do it. There we go. Good. Dot in the center. Hit apply. And then hit close. All right, next we got to center the star. So what we're going to do here is take it and highlight it and we're going to be able to move it over okay so when we move it we're going to move all the outlines with it now to highlight both of them this is this is a very tricky situation so let's highlight it across we can move this out of the way grab it just like this and now we can move both Okay. Then we can move this back. It doesn't matter where this is located. Now highlight the entire area. Go to Extensions, G-Code Tools, and go Path to G-Code. Okay, so here what we want to do is uh, state the Z-Safe, which is 5 millimeters. That means it's going to move up five, over, and then plunge into the material. So that distance it needs to go up and over, five millimeters works pretty good. This is the path onto my hard drive. You need to change this to whatever path that you want. There is no browse button for it. State what star this is. I'm going to put star two here. And then I'll go back to path on G code and hit apply. There we go. Works out. So if you want to look at uh, the results, you go to desktop. Uh, I have a thing called cheat code in here. And here's star 2. I opened it with notepad, and there we are. So the offset there that has, when you go to fill in the area, I can't find a workaround for that. If you want to post something or like a tutorial that you found that kind of fixes that, that would be awesome. But until then, that's the workaround until I figure out why it offsets the area. But it works out. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and have a good one.